Hello! No glasses today, so this is what I look like. Are you happy? Today we're doing something different. We're going to be rating the lovely, lovely ladies of loose women. Let's go. All right, here we have the lovely ladies across the bottom here. So who have we got first? Carol Vorderman. There's two things I love about her. No! <laughs> Get her up there. Lovely. No, in all seriousness, she's a great host and kept everyone in line. And she's got great parrot. Carol McGiffin next. She'd always, she's not on it anymore, but she'd always go on about a fucking young boyfriend. It was like a 30 year difference or whatever. And she would always talking about how she'd get a wrinkly ass shagged out. We get it, Carol, you like them young. Shut up about it, you know what I mean? D for what's in her mouth. Charlene. Now, this is a bit biased because I haven't really seen much of her on Loose Women, but all that shit in the jungle with Matt Hancock and her not sharing the bed and everything. I get the political statement and all of that, but I think that, I think, now here's the conspiracy. I think she only did that because she thought that would lead her on to win, which it obviously didn't, Charlene. It blew up in your face, dear. So I think you're a phony person because you start giving all this shit about how she's a journalist and how she has to remain impartial. Well, how does that, how does not how does going along with the challenge make her not impartial? You know what I mean? You're on you're on jungle. Give it up. Charlene. D. I feel great about this. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Christine Lampard, another host. So we've got the regular women, the panelists, if you will, and then we've got a host. And Christine Lampard is a host, and a bloody damn fine one at that. Now, she toes the line a little bit, so I'm gonna do a middle of the road, I'm gonna do a B, but she's got a face for telly. Let's just say that. Next up, we've got Colleen Nolan. Colleen Nolan thinks she's the funniest person on this earth. Colleen whitters on. Honestly, Colleen just fucking rattling out these shit jokes and innuendos. She's the lady in the corner of the party. And the audience are like... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Colleen! Pathetic. But I can't blame her for that. I'm not blaming her for that. She gets the laughs, so maybe she is funny and I'm missing something. But she's not on a real sense. So, D. Next up, we have Denise Welsh. Well, what can I say about this woman? Tits out in Celebrity Big Brother. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Top of the list. Great telly. Janet Street Porter. Controversial opinion here. I love Janet Street Porter. I think she's the Ramsey, if you will, of loose women. She tells it as it is. She stirs the pot. She has old-fashioned opinions, let's say. But when this lady is talking about all the husbands she's cheated on on television, um, it may make some people feel sick, but to me, I respect it. I rate it. She keeps it real. Janet, you belong up there, love, with Carol and Denise. Kay Adams next. Now, Kay, I like Kay. She's another host. She's a strong host, and she's very, very professional to the line. And it keeps the others from... So I think she's probably up there in A. She hasn't quite breached it because she hasn't got her tits out on Big Brother. Sorry, Kay. Lisa Maxwell, I believe her last name is. Lisa had a very shrill voice and I didn't care for it. D, quite raspy. Nadia next. Now, Nadia was, was actually quite entertaining on Loose Women. Now, I've watched her YouTube channel, Don't Ask Me Why. And uh, her and her husband are just rattling on about a load of shit. Another one on the on Loose Women, though, who wouldn't shut up about the partner. You know, we get it, you're married. Oh, I remember when Mark were going through this. It's like, fucking give a break, you know? So, I don't think she deserves D, because she hasn't annoyed me as much as all these women in D. So I'm going to put a C, because I think she's got some redeeming factors. Okay, Ruth Langsford. The better half to Eamon Holmes, those in the know. Ruth is a very sexy woman for her age. And a very sexy woman overall, actually. She speaks sense. She's not afraid to speak her mind and go up against the other women without it being so aggressive. Don't get me wrong. You know, she goes after it. But she does it in a polite way. She doesn't back down. But she listens. She's the full package. Ruth Langsford, everybody. Okay, last of all, we have Stacey Solomon. It's a tricky one for Stacey. I think she's quite an entertaining personality. Um, 
it's hard. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this one. She's very relatable. I think probably the most relatable out of all the loose women. And that's got to stand for something. Stacy, Stacy, Stacy. It's somewhere... Hmm. Stacy. Stacy. She's relatable, she sure is, don't get me wrong. Now, why she's not an S? She's not an S because it's almost like you can always guess the opinion she's going to have on the topic. You, you know what she's going to say before she's said it because she just has the generic opinion a lot of the time. I'm sorry to say that. I find her quite entertaining and very relatable. Um, I'm going to put her on B. I think that's fair. You know, a lot of what she says is like, you know, the bumbling nice. Which is cute until it's not. So there we have it, the loose women. Top tier, Carol V, Denise, Janet Street Porter and Ruth Langsford. Um... I'm happy with that. I think that's a strong, strong panel. However, you'll never get this panel. Let me tell you why. Denise Welsh will not appear on the show at the same time as Janet Street Porter. They don't get on. Only the fans know that. Kay Adams, A. Yep, she's in a league of her own, so I'm glad she's ended up there on her own. B is Christine Lampard and Stacey Solomon, and you've got Nadia in C. Just because she hasn't quite annoyed me as much as Carol McGiffin, Charlene White, Colleen Nolan and Lisa Maxwell. Because they are all a bunch of... No, they're not. They're not. They're annoying to me. Which makes them a bunch of... Hope you enjoyed. I think we'll do more of these. That were great. That were great. And I'm not short of loose women. If you like this, like it. Like it. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Have a good one. I like chalk and cheese. Chew on us enough, we'll crumble in your mouth.